Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. The BUCCA NEARS B R I T G E R T O N I N S P I R E D N E V A S E R I E S is C D A C T I V E and D M A Y N A T P U L A T E. The series is based on an unfinished novel by Edith Wharton, published posthumously in 1938, about a wave in the 1870s in which nouveau riche Americans headed across the Atlantic to marry into titles and power among Britain's aristocracy. The series has the same historical phenomenon as its starting point, and also reflects, with very mixed success, on the cultural clash between London's educated, tradition-bound elite and a group of bold American women who are used to letting the champagne flow. I saw your panties before I saw your face, as one line goes, but you are probably better off looking at the handling of historical material and instead considering the buccaneers as a kind of fictional love is blind with beautiful Victorian dresses added. The buccaneers is an orgy of love stories on steroids. The emotions are big and real in the Romeo and Juliet way, where four half-baked interactions between two beautiful young people are played out as burning love. At the same time, the status of entire families is at stake. Violent secrets change hands, and violence is mistaken for care. It's incredibly seductive, and sometimes the buccaneers makes it possible to forget the craziness of our own times. You like to float along into the five main characters' dreams of adventure and marriage, surrounded by beautiful women and men and old castles. The primary protagonist, Nan Street George, Norwegian-American Christine Froseth, is an enchanting, devil-may-care heroine type who, with her defiant indifference to marriage, casts a spell over the best friends. The young artistic soul of a dupe and London's most eligible bachelor, Theo Guy Remmers, and the likable nobody Guy Thwart, Matthew Broom. Their triangle drama is what takes up most of the space and also a little too much. Although Nan becomes aware of a painful family secret that puts extra pressure on the difficult choices she has to make, history repeats itself a lot. We also follow Nan's more reserved little sister, Ginny, goddess-level beautiful Imogen Waterhouse, who, in her impatient dream of an important husband, ends up in the clutches of goosebump-inducing Lord James Seadown, Barney Fishwick. Also at the center is Ginny's closest friend, the charismatic and moody Conchita. Who is struggling to find herself after being subjected to a horrible violation by the same man? And as a nice little surprise, we also have a cute romance between the familiar undercover lesbian Mabel Emsworth, Josie Toba, and the withdrawn observer Anoria Marable, who is played fine and nuanced by Mia Threepleton. On a human level, the Buccaneers lacks nothing, and especially all the female actors are brilliantly talented. The series has two basic problems. The first is the deep pitfall of period drama, which the Buccaneers just dives right into, break or wear. From the 2020s pop hit soundtrack to modern feminist ideas, the show shamelessly projects our zeitgeist onto all the characters we have to stick with, while leaving the villains in 1870 without bothering to understand contemporary ideals. In the long run, the strangely carefree handling of the story leaves a strange taste in the mouth. The second problem is a not so discreet characterization of the U.S. as the land of freedom, openness, money, and partying to Britain's aristocracy as a dull bunch of spoiled snobs. There are some objections. Could the Americans' historyless new is always better logic be perhaps a bit superficial, uncultured? But they just smack straight back in the English's face. He can't figure out how to have fun either. In the end, you feel fed up with ideology without the freedom to draw your own conclusions. You just want to be invited into the lovely friendships and cheer for it all to end well. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.